Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today's video is a review on a wig and this is an absolutely beautiful wig and the owner of the company, Yvette, reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review one of her pieces and she does custom pieces for her clients. Now, like I said, her name is Yvette and her company name is My Best Beauty Outlet. First of all, let me go ahead and show you what her hair comes in so we get this beautiful silky bag i think you know presentation is everything you get something that's packaged really nicely it just makes you feel so much better about the purchase so uh, it does come in a bag like this now i'm not sure if she sent me these because i'm reviewing her wigs or if she puts them in every uh package she might do that but she sent some really pretty barrettes which i really appreciate because i've had so much fun lately um, buying hair accessories since I really couldn't use them or can't use them with my own bio hair because I don't have enough. But she sent these really pretty pearl little barrettes. She also sent a wig cap, which is always nice to have. And she sent a little card, uh, just a thank you, a thank you card and telling about her YouTube channel, her Instagram and Facebook. And I'll definitely link everything um, below for you so you can check her out. She gave on the back some don'ts that you don't want to do with your hum human hair piece. All right, now I know you've been waiting, wanting to know what it looks like. So let me show it to you really quickly and then we are going to talk about it. Okay, here it is. So this is, I would say, I don't think it's, it's black. It might be coming across as black, but it's really a pretty dark brown. And then she put in these really nice highlights all throughout so the cap is uh, like a hand tied cap here it has the lace so you're able to cut the lace on your own which is a really good thing because you can cut it to your specifications uh, it also has a clip here in the back and then there is a strap here there is a clip on the side here which is okay so these are the ears right here so you have clips right around the ears now this piece is from her luxury line. She has two lines to choose from. She has her luxury line, and I'm just reading a little bit um, about her, so forgive me her here. Her luxury line is, is called Babe Beauty, I love that. And it has plucked hairline, so she's plucked the hairline. We'll look at that closely in just a second. Lace fronts, which we looked at. Comfortable caps. Some of them are silk uh, based, this one isn't. Lace front single knots. So the hair is the highest quality hair and takes color well. And she also treats each piece before she sends it out. And let me tell you, when I opened this, I could not believe how soft this hair was. It was so soft and silky. Like, I wish my hair was like that. It was absolutely beautiful. And still is. I'm not, I shouldn't say was. It still is. But, I mean, I just could not believe it when I took it out of the package at how soft this hair is. She also has a budget beauty line. And they have plucked hairlines, lace, comfortable caps, and are made with Brazilian human hair. And these are all under $600. But she also does custom wigs that start at $125. So that would be based on what, you know, you talk to her about and y'all decide on. So she can custom color, cut, and style those wigs. Why did she start this company? So she said that she started My Best Beauty Outlet um, to help every woman feel like a beauty, which is awesome. And she said she was touched by so many women who didn't have enough money maybe to afford higher quality wigs. And so she decided to help out deserving sisters, mothers, uh, friends, and she travels the globe to um, source high quality human hair. Each wig is unique based on colors that Yvette has chosen for her clients. Let me let you look really quickly here at this lace front and you can see that it's been that it's been plucked and it looks super natural. I mean just look at that. You really can't even tell like where the lace kind of ends and the hairs begin because it's all just really natural there. And then on the top, you can see my, th my finger right there, right? So that's gonna look really like your scalp underneath. I mean, it's gonna look super, super natural. Let me go ahead and take this off. If you're wondering, this is Belinda by Envy. I do have a review, I'll put it up here. I'm so excited to put this on. Okay, let me just show you really quickly just a little bit of a um, 
like some specs about this. So obviously this is straight. So she has a little card on the back, the tag here, and it tells what the what the texture is. So if it's straight, kinky, wavy, or curly, this one's straight. And then the length, she goes every, um, anywhere from 10 to 30 inches, and this one's 16. And then the product is a frontal wig. Okay, and then on the back, she does have some uh, hair care instructions for this one specifically. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like on. I'm super excited about this. How pretty is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not going to cut the lace right now, but let me show you something really quickly. I brought these in here with me so um, you can kind of get an idea of what you should cut lace with. So these are pinking shears, so you can see they have like the little teeth on both sides. I just got these from Amazon. They were less than $10. I think they were like eight something. I can link them below if I can still find them. You should cut lace with pinking shears because it, it if you cut it with just regular scissors, it's more likely that your lace is gonna fray. So if you do pinking shears, for some reason it cuts down on that. I don't know the reasoning behind it, but these are pretty cheap. You can get some from like John Renault um, and you know bigger companies, but they're gonna be more expensive. So I just got a pair of cheap ones. So I'll definitely use these when I'm ready to cut this lace. But for now, I'm just gonna kind of tuck it underneath here. So we can just get an idea. brushing through it really gently with a wide tooth comb. I'm not even sure that it's necessary that you use a wide tooth comb. That's just what I use for my synthetic wigs. So um, it's what I had lying around. So this one is uh, kind of a middle part, but I can change it really easily because it has that lace top. So that means that you can move your part really anywhere that you want to move it. So I'm going to move it in just a second, but I just wanted to show you, I just tucked in that lace there, I tucked it underneath, and I just wanted to show you how natural it looks. Now, with the lace color, I'm sure that Yvette can probably change that lace color if you wanted, like with me, because I have really pale skin. I might want to get, I don't know, maybe get a, a lighter color lace, um, and she could probably do that for you if you asked. I went ahead and parted it just a little bit off center, and it looks really nice that way, actually. Okay, let me give you a 360. Aren't these highlights pretty? Now I'm gonna show you, I mean, look how much hair that is. That is so awesome. That is a lot of hair. That is a nice ponytail. <laughs> A really really nice ponytail right it's actually really cool seeing my hair myself with hair this long the wig that I had on before like this one is like long to me so this one is like super long I mean I can't even get it all in the shot it goes all the way down to there you can see um, it is so pretty now like I said when you cut this lace it's gonna stay a little better but I don't really have anything um, holding it except for the, the clips that are in the side here. In fact, let me just go ahead and get those. I don't even know if I got those in. Also with the beauty with wigs like this is that you can glue them here at the front. And I don't mean like glue like it's gonna stick forever. I mean like a, um, I think there's wig glue if I'm not mistaken, but then something like the got to be a uh, freeze it's a spray or there's a also a um, a gel that you can put there and kind of put it on your lace front and tack it down and then use like a blow dryer to make it stay that's definitely one thing you can do there's also wig tape which I've never used but there's wig, wig tape to make your wig stay in place and you'd have to be a little bit careful with when you have like a total lace with that but it's definitely doable. Now, like I said, I don't have everything like hooked and all that stuff on the inside, but when you do, it's gonna stay a lot better than what it's staying here on me. It's definitely something I think that's awesome about her wig is that wigs, she has like the, the little hooks on the inside, um, and then she also has the combs, so on either side here and also in the back, and also she has the strap. So 
she has several ways to make this really fit your head, which I think is a good thing. This much hair on me, it's a lot, but I could easily have her cut it if I didn't want it this long. So like I said, when we were looking at that tag, you can get as short as 10 inches. So I would go with like a 10 or a 12 for myself, but I know that a lot of people love hair this long and this is so, so pretty. How do you care for it? You really care for it like you would your own hair. I mean, it's human hair, right? So you would care for it that way. You just have to remember that whereas our scalps produce oil and make our hair, you know, feel a certain way and not dry all the time, Obviously, uh, human hair wigs won't do that because it's not attached to anything, right? So we have to, you know, put in maybe moisturizers and conditioners and, you know, when we want to make it straight, blow dry it straight. When you want to make it curly, curl it. So you can use it up to 400 degrees, which is awesome. I think you can really do a lot with it. Barrettes in, which I think, gosh, I just love these barrettes. I think they're so pretty. Okay. Um, let me show you two. You can see my hair right there, but... Just look past that. Let me show you the, the lace there. So it looks really good. And the lace front, I'm gonna pull it down so it's really on my on my forehead. Um, you can really tell how blended that looks, right? It looks so natural to me. So um I think that's awesome. She's She does a really good job at that. Lots of styling options. Pull it back in a ponytail. Put it in a high bun if you want. And, you know, you can do that because back here, there is also lace that can kind of be cut to your specifications that go, like, around the ear here. So, you can um, cut it to make it look just like your own hair. Nobody's going to know. So, in a ponytail, you could do half back which I really like. This is a look that I like. I think that's pretty. And the way she has done these highlights, to me, look really natural. So they're not all the way at the root like you get sometimes. And you know what? Usually you're not gonna get a highlight that's all the way coming out of your head right? So that's, to me, a little bit unnatural. But when you have a highlight like this, it looks like it's grown out a little bit and it does look more natural. So the highlights could be any color that you wanted since she can custom right. hair as well. So any color that you want because she can custom make it. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And for me, I mean, this is definitely maybe like date night hair or special occasion hair so I could curl it and put it up or something. Um, it's not a work everyday work hair for me, but that's fine. We need all sorts of hair, don't we? If you have any questions, be sure and let me know. And like I said, I'm going to link uh, Yvette's website and I will put her Facebook and Instagram handles below for you. And if you have any questions, then contact her. She's very active on Facebook. I have definitely noticed that. So she post pictures of her different um, wigs that she's done, which are gorgeous, by the way. So she posts pictures and she talks to people. So she's really active. And so that's a really, really good thing. Because let me tell you, I have been hearing a lot of people getting scammed by wig makers. They will pay them a thousand, two thousand dollars and then either not get the wig or get it and it looks insane, like insanely bad. So she's there, she's around, you can find her, people know her, uh, so that's a good thing. But if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. I hope you will like and subscribe. And by the way, I have an Instagram. I never even talk about my Instagram, but I have been posting on it quite a bit lately. And I will put that below. It's actually always below there for you. So I would love it if you would come follow me and I will follow you back. But thanks again so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.